So guys, now we will going to implement the APIs that we discussed in the last lecture video. So you can see that I am inside an empty directory and I'm going to create two files mm.c and mm.h right so all the Linux memory manager related code will go in these two files mm.c and mm.h now we will implement the APIs that we discussed in the last lecture video in the file mm.c right so the first thing that we need to do is to hash include all the standard header files so let us hash include the required header files. I will tell you that what is the purpose of unistd.h and sysmn.h. Now we need a global variable which can store the size of a virtual memory page on your system. Right? So we have taken a static global variable and now we will going to define a function which will initialize our memory manager. We will see that how we will going to invoke this function mm underscore in it which will going to do initialization of our virtual memory manager so of course when our linux memory manager starts the very first function that will be invoked will be mm underscore in it and inside this function it is quite obvious that we should compute the value of system page size so system page size can be computed using an api get page size right this API will return the size of one virtual memory page on your system and it is fixed. So this API is defined in the header file unistd.h. Other than that, you need not do any other initialization in this function mm underscore in it, right? Now the next thing that we will going to do is to implement the API to request a virtual memory page from the virtual address space of a process from the kernel, right? We have already discussed the prototype and functioning of this API. Now we will going to implement this API, right? So this is the API to request virtual memory page from the kernel. So in order to request virtual memory page from the kernel, we need to use a map system call. Now note that MMAP system call has various purposes and is a little bit complicated system call. We will going to use MMAP system call only in the context of allocating and releasing the virtual memory pages. The detailed discussion of MMAP system call is out of the context of this course. All you need to know is how to use MMAP system call in order to allocate and deallocate the virtual memory pages. So in order to allocate a virtual memory page using mmap system call, what you need to do is to just take a variable virtual memory page because mmap system call returns a pointer to the starting address of the virtual memory page that has been allocated. The first argument to the mmap system call you can always pass as null. The second argument to this mmap system call is the amount of memory that you want to request from the kernel. Since we are only interested in the size of the memory, which is same as the size of a virtual memory page, therefore we will multiply units into system page size, right? So depending on the value of units, we will actually going to allocate as many virtual memory pages as specified by this units, right? Then we need to specify certain permissions on the virtual memory pages which is being allocated to our user space process right so we need read write and execute permissions on these virtual memory pages for that you can specify the flags as follows right and then you also has to specify two other flags called map anonymous and map private right the operator between these two flags is actually this is an OR operator. So it means that you are specifying two flags. Now the detailed discussion of this flag is not required here. Just understand that in order to request a virtual memory page from the kernel space, from virtual address space of a process, just specify the flag map anonymous or map private. And then the last two argument of the system call you can specify as always null or zero. So using this MMAP system call and by specifying the arguments as follows, we are actually requesting virtual memory pages from the kernel. And how many virtual pages we are requesting? We are requesting 
units number of virtual memory pages from the kernel. Now, if for some reason this MMAP system call fails, it means that the value which is returned by this MMAP system call will be equal to the macro map failed. And if this happens, you can print some message and simply return. So what you will going to return in this case? Simply return null. Otherwise, if the allocation of virtual memory pages succeeds, then simply initialize the memory which is assigned to our user space process using memsat, right? And then finally, return the address of the virtual memory page that has been assigned to our Linux memory manager. And we are done, right? So you can see that the API to allocate virtual memory pages from kernel space to user space is fairly simple. These virtual pages is being assigned by the operating system or kernel from the process virtual address space. Now next we will going to discuss the implementation of API to release the virtual memory pages back to the kernel, right? So the return value of such an API is void and we already know the signature and prototype of such an API. We have already discussed this, right? So we are implementing the second API that we discussed and this API is even simpler. In order to return the virtual memory pages back to the kernel space, you simply have to invoke an unmap system call, right? And pass the pointer to the virtual memory page which was returned by a map system call, right? And the size of the virtual memory pages that we requested, right? If this API succeeds, then it returns zero. Otherwise, it returns some error code, right? So you can always print some error message here. And we are done. So you can see that the implementation of allocation of virtual memory pages and deallocation of virtual memory pages from the user space to the kernel space is fairly simple and easy using mmap and M unmap system calls. Now the next thing that we will going to do is to implement a main function so that we can test out these APIs that we have just implemented, right? So the first thing that we need to do is to initialize our Linux virtual memory manager. The second thing that you can do is to print the global variable system page size, right? Then the third thing that you can do is to request kernel for the allocation of one virtual memory page, right? So let address one stores the address of that virtual memory page. And then the second thing that you can do is to request the kernel for the allocation of second virtual memory page right and now simply you can print the address of these two virtual memory pages and verify by subtracting the address of these two virtual memory pages and you will find that these virtual memory pages need not be contiguous had these virtual memory pages were contiguous the difference between the address of these virtual memory pages must be equal to the system page size but this may or may not happen so now we will compile this program and run and see how it performs. So now I am simply compiling my mm.c file and I will execute it. So you can see that virtual memory page size of my system is 4096 bytes and I have allotted two virtual memory pages using mmap system call and you can actually subtract the virtual addresses of these two pages to verify whether these are contiguous virtual memory pages or not. In fact, I, I will show you shortly that using GDB how you can do so. So let us select the address of the page number 2 and typecast it into unsigned log and simply and similarly do the same for the other virtual address that is page 1. And you can see that the address between these two virtual pages is huge, right? So it means that page one and page two were actually not contiguous in the heap memory segment. So this completes the phase one of our course that is allocation and deallocation of complete virtual memory pages from the user space or Linux memory manager.